So the question came in about modifying a complex or a, an alignment in open roads technology. So what we'll do is we'll lay out a basic alignment using the complex by PI feature. And this alignment could be any preliminary alignment that the user is deciding to draft. Once done, we'll create a profile. This could be a complex by PI, the alignment. It could be uh, individual geometric elements chained together and so forth. In this case, again, we'll just use the profile complex by VPI. And we'll just set uh, some profile information on our data. key here is we'll have to make the profile active. Okay. So what often happens is the profile uh, could simply be manipulated here on a individual geometric basis by uh, keying in new values and so forth and and by in doing so you know we inevitably change some aspect in our profile we could manipulate the alignment in any way however what happens when we need to create an alternate for a portion of the alignment say in the case of a five mile long alignment we may have to change a route after we've already designed the profile so what I want to do is show one method to use here uh, before I move forward I want to name my profile uh, and I'll just call this test as well to match the alignment okay so what we'll do is we'll come in and we'll create an alternate and I'll just change the symbology so we see that this is an alternate and I use uh, some of the platform components Oops. And from here perhaps we'll come off with another arc an arc between the two elements. Okay, so now we have our alternate for our alignment. So the way we'll handle this is we'll simply come in and we'll break the element to start. And just in doing so, we now have two segments. And then we'll use our trim to intersection command. If we don't break the element, we won't be able to select on the uh, original alignment. But notice our profile is still intact. And the reason is because our alignment really is still here. We, we just have now created um, intervals, or rather a gap in the line. So now what we'll do is we'll, is we'll come in and we'll create a new alignment. This time we'll use complex by element and we'll just call this alternate. And we'll come in and we'll use the manual command and we'll grab the geometric components and make up our new alignment along with the pieces that make up our older the old alignment. Okay, so with this in place, we can now highlight our new alignment, and go in and look at the profile, and we'll see the existing alignment where we've inserted the gap, and now we can fill in that gap. Now, if we wanted to preserve or maybe set up an alternate, we, we could either um, 
just simply make a copy of our alignment uh, of the original profile um, and make that so you may say well how do I get back to that profile because now what we have is this alignment well what we do is we go into element information and we drill down let's just move we drill down into our alignment and what we're looking on is for is it depends on and you can see the complex element test one the interval so we didn't quite get that yet and we have to grab it so there it is there is our initial alignment and we can in fact um, go and open up our profile model again and maybe we want to make a copy of that profile and not alter this in any way because maybe uh, we want to start changing our profile further back on the initial original profile so uh, for our alternate so we we might want to in that case um, not mess with this although I haven't tested it out in full uh, so we could simply uh, to be safe we could make a copy uh, we could also copy the file off and maintain or preserve the initial alignment in the state that it's in um, prior to the alternate um, but then if to make the copy we simply select on it and we would set a zero offset and of course we're only going to read the active alignment so uh, we would actually have to make that the active alignment and then we can go back in now uh, to our alignment and let's just see what happens so we'll go back into our alternate and what we're going to do is we're going to do a profile curve from an element and we'll select this element and we'll start back further so instead of snapping right on to the end maybe we want to start this curve um, at a point back further and um, you can probably say you, you don't want to drive down a road that I designed and that's fine and maybe we'll just place a curve between elements here, um, curve between two elements, we'll grab this one, zero offset this one, and we'll zoom in a little bit, uh, let's just place that at yeah, 800 some feet, and we'll extend and trim both, and then we'll come in and we'll complex this together, profile complex by elements, and again we can, you know, give this a name. this and uh, let's go to manual so we'll come in here grab our first bit to grab that second piece grab our third piece so now we have our new alignment and we can highlight that or save it so now we're good so now you see we have uh, an alternate and we also have the initial alignment um, stored in our file so earlier in the video I showed how one could drill into the element information aspect of the alignment to get to the initial alignment uh, an easier way of doing this would be simply to go into the civil model tab and here we'll see um, the alternate alignment that we created but we'll also see the first level complex element and um, from here it's very simple uh, a corridor could be created from the initial alignment um, or you know we could simply open up the profile and modify the profile so uh, it, the Civil Model tab in Project Explorer acts a lot like Navigator or the um, Project Manager in Inroads, uh, where one can drill into the geometric elements. And uh, concise naming is probably advised uh, to make this a little bit easier.